Well, welcome, Travis Tolliver. Tell us who you are. Uh, Travis Tolliver, I'm the Executive Director for the Waverly Chamber of Commerce and Main Street Program. Perfect, and I'm Deb Brown from Webster City Chamber. And on audio, we have Susan Corrigan with us. And unfortunately, she has a poor internet signal. Susan, you wanna give us a holler? So that, that constitutes a holler. That means I get to ask a lot of questions. And Hi, can you hear me? Maybe over there. There you go. Hi, Susan. How are you? So today our focus is. Um, God. There you go. <laughs> is the Waverly area. Travis, describe the town of Waverly and what it's like to live there. Well, uh, Waverly is a river college town. Uh, with an immense amount of heritage, uh, of being a very progressive, uh, moving forward, uh, trying to keep a small town atmosphere, but at the same time, uh, trying to keep uh, keep on the forefront of, um, uh, of being a progressive community. Okay, so what is your background? Uh, my background, uh, I spent 20 years in the luxury hotel business. I ran uh, luxury hotels. Uh, everywhere from Las Vegas to Minneapolis, uh, even Fargo, North Dakota. Uh, and then I find myself in, in Waverly and I wanted to switch careers. I wanted to move into a, a nonprofit mission-based environment. And uh, I was lucky enough to find the, the chamber position and, and really glad to be here. Excellent. So you bring in kind of a more of a big city thinking into the Waverly area. Mm -hmm. um, were you surprised by that? Were you surprised by Waverly? You know, I was. Uh, Waverly has uh, such a, a great amount of um, progressiveness going on with, with the, the culture that's cultivated here. And uh, we, uh, community members really uh, look to people from the outside who are coming, who are new to the community, who are coming in uh, for new ideas, for, for uh, Things that uh, are, are happening that you know could maybe be improved upon, and so not only have a, have my wife and I've been really welcomed here in Waverly, but um, ideas that I throw out, uh, thoughts about how things could be you know a little bit different to be maybe just that much more successful have really been welcomed, and you don't always see that in a, in a town of this size. You know, I think Iowa has a lot to do with that too. Actually, Iowans are kind of like that. That's um, great. Susan, you want to ask a question? Yeah, I sure would, now that I have my technical difficulties um, overcome. So here's a question I have for you. In 20 years, what should the community of Waverly look like? Um, what do you think would be the same and what do you um, think would be different? In 20 years, I hope that Waverly would not look too much different. Uh, you know, Waverly is a, a very picturesque, quaint town along the, the Cedar River. Um, and uh, I, I think if anything should be different, it would just be uh, a more of a vibrant downtown community uh, filled with uh, retail shops, uh, being a little bit more of a, of a, of a destination for, for people wanting to, to shop in our community. Uh, we have th we were lucky enough to have three separate retail communities in our, in our area, three, um, retail districts, excuse me. And um, I would like to see all, all three of them being able to grow and prosper in their own rights. Um, and, and then probably the other thing would be housing. Uh, we have a, a housing shortage in our community that we're working on right now. So uh, we're looking to expand in different, um, in different uh, ways with housing and uh, being able to build up some, some communities that way and some neighbor, new neighborhoods and whatnot. So uh, there's, it's, gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a little bit more of a growth, but I think overall in 20 years, I'd like to see Waverly just kind of looking the same, but uh, just being improved upon internally too. You're relatively, um, well, you're relatively oh, close ahead, to um, the Waterloo area. Mm -hmm. I know you have a college where you're at. Do you, you, do you lose college students to the Waterloo area? And what college do you have there? We have Warburg College here. Um, Warburg uh, has a very interesting um, historical background with the community. Uh, Warburg has been in several locations since its in ince inception. And uh, Waverly was one of those locations. It went away for a while back in the 1800s, came back uh, due to the uh, most part of the town. The town uh, had convinced, uh, it, it's a it's a, a liberal arts college, it's a, it's a college of the church. And uh, 
when the church was going to have a, a conference of their leaders in Waverly, uh, the town got together and kind of spruced up the, the old campus and invited church leaders back and uh, really uh, put a lot of pressure on church leaders to, to make Waverly the new and, uh, and, and long-term home for Warford College. Church leaders were impressed with the community. The citizens really rallied uh, behind uh, getting the, the college here. And so the college did come back and it's been here ever since. So uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a way, our community is, is much different than most college towns in the, in the fact that the town grew around the college, whereas in fact here, the, the, the college is here because of our town. Um, we have, uh, right now we have 1400 students that, that attend Warper College. And uh, what I, my answer to uh, if we lose them to the Waterloo Cedar Falls area, I wouldn't say that we we do. Um, they're pretty self-contained. Uh, they're required to live on campus all four years of their their uh, their college career here. Uh, there are obviously ways to get around that sometimes for them to be able to live off of campus. But uh, as as the chamber director, uh, I found that there is a really untapped market. Uh, on the, the Warper campus. And so uh, just in the last part of this year have been really making a lot of strides in trying to penetrate that market, creating different events, different promotions to engage Warper students, Warper faculty and staff to, to leave campus, to explore Waverly, to explore the shops and the restaurants that we have here and to, to really try to grow and prosper um, that mission uh, to, to, um, to expose our community to, to those 1,400 students who are here every year. Can you, can you tell us some of the key stats on your, on your community? How many, how many people, how many businesses? Um, what's the age demographics? Can you give, you, give us some of those So Waverly stats? is a town of around 10,000 people. Uh, that does not include uh, the students at Warford College. Um, uh, stat demographics, uh, our ages range, you know, uh, all over the board, but our, our dominant demographic in age is probably anywhere between the 30 to 70 or 80 um, mark. We actually have a unique demographic where uh, we have more retired ELCA pastors living in Waverly per capita than anywhere else in the country. Uh, so it makes for a very unique uh, blend of, of culture and of age groups uh, throughout our community. But we, we entertain everybody from very young families all the way up to retirees. And we have a, a few different retirement communities in our, in our, uh, in our town as well. Wow. What would some notable businesses and industries, um, you know, you talked about the Wartburg college, but what other businesses and industries? Would yeah, absolutely. Would That's Waverly a great question. And we to? have a lot of manufacturing in Waverly. Uh, we are home to several uh, prominent uh, businesses that a lot of people know about. Nestle, for one, has a has a plant here in Waverly right along the Cedar River. Uh, so our town always smells good. Uh, we also have uh, um, CUNA Mutual, which is a, a rather large insurance company. They ha call Waverly home. Um, United Equipment, GMT Manufacturing, uh, Terex Cranes, which is an international crane company, uh, have a, has a manufacturing plant here. So really quite a, a diverse culture of, of manufacturing. And, uh, and then of course we have, uh, we're blessed with a ton of retail businesses here as well. How many businesses are here? I would you know, ballpark around the four or 500 area. Uh, we have about 60% of those as chamber members already. And uh, we're always looking to grow and expand. Our newest um, uh, member of the community right now is a brand new uh, Cobblestone Inn and Suites Hotel that just opened up uh, downtown here. And with 45 rooms and four stories. We're really uh, excited for them to, to, to be here. And also we have Winnebago that has just come to town. They're going to be re-outfitting a, 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 a previously used building uh, to be a, 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 a plant for some of their, uh, some of their needs. So uh, be expecting anywhere of around, uh, you know, I think it was around 60 or 70 jobs with that plant. Uh, Terex is gonna be opening up an additional uh, accounting uh, department at, at their um, place of business. So we're looking at about maybe 30 or 40 jobs there. So uh, within the next year or so, we could be increasing our, our job market in around the 100 marker. Great. How did Waverly get its name? <laughs> Very interesting question. Uh, the town was founded by a man named uh, William Harmon. And 
Mr. Harmon uh, really was a progressive thinker and and really enjoyed um, you know just pushing the envelope with industry and with uh, design and whatnot. Uh, really enjoyed it being on the Cedar River. Uh, apparently, when the the town uh, went to have a celebration to be dedicated. Uh, the guest speaker uh, was a fan of um, Walter Scott's Waverly novels. And when he got up to, t to speak, uh, he started talking about the town and kept referring to it as Waverly instead of, uh, I think it was going to be called Harmonville. And so uh, the story goes that uh, the, the name stuck and everybody after that started calling it Waverly and it just stayed that way. Interesting. It looks like Humphrey has joined us. And I just want to mention Humphrey. Um, if you can find the call in button, I encourage you to do that so we can welcome you to the discussion. We have about five more minutes. Oh, he's having technical difficulties too. I might mention that Humphrey is expecting twins at any moment now or any moment in December. That's right. So we'll let him slide with his technical difficulties we're glad to have you here humphrey though everybody wave everybody wave <laughs> so is there anything else that um not as a chamber director but as a citizen of waverly that you would have us know about well you know i'm, I'm fairly new to the to the to the area uh, my wife and i just moved here a little over a year ago um, but what i can tell you is that waverly is full of very very welcoming people um, and, and which is, you know, sometimes a, a hit or miss in a, in a small town, and we really didn't know what to expect when coming here, but people have been very welcoming, uh, uh, very um, uh, interested in in our previous past lives, uh, uh, different areas that we've lived in and whatnot, and our careers, um, but more so just wanting to get to know us personally on a personal level, and I, and I think that's the really cool thing about Waverly is that not only are we a welcoming people, but we want to get to know you, you as a person, and uh, and how you you fit in the whole scheme of things. Uh, it, the community is great. Uh, we have uh, everything that you need here. Uh, I, I really enjoy living here. Yeah, we go down to Waterloo Cedar Falls uh, every once in a while, but you know, we're really self-contained in, in Waverly, even though we're only 14 miles away from Cedar Falls. Uh, Waverly just has such a unique charm about it. Uh, all the stores that we that we usually frequent or whatnot are here, um, and uh, the quality of life is is amazing. The the, the events that uh, we as the chamber put on and other organizations in town put on uh, really help to cultivate a, a very unique. Um, uh, atmosphere where everybody is is doing everything together for the betterment of the community and so we have um you know wonderful wonderful events that attract a lot of people from out of town but at the same time a lot of people in town just love going to to different events just to say hi to their neighbor you know and 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 enjoy what what waverly as a community has to offer everybody does a lot of great things but uh you know people do them sometimes for themselves but most of the time in, in this community, uh, it's for Waverly. And that's what's really awesome about living here. It sounds like everybody really pulls together. Absolutely, absolutely. We, uh, we were blessed to be um, a, a stopover location for the recent uh, Gentlemen of the Road Music Festival Tour. Uh, headed off by Mumford and Sons, and you know they came to our town and and they were just kind of scoping it out. And uh, when after they chose our location uh, to be a part of the tour, I asked one of the the production managers and said, you know, what was it about Waverly that that convinced you that this was a, a place that you wanted to be in Iowa? And he said, you know, I, I we were sitting down at the table together, and uh, on the other side of the table from us was you know the president of the college, the mayor, the city of administrator, the chamber director, the chief of police, all these, you know, community leaders getting together. And he said, it was just so much fun to sit back and watch you guys talking amongst yourselves, laughing, joking, enjoying life together. He said, we knew immediately that the culture of this town was exactly what we were looking for in a place to host this kind of event. So it kind of gives you an idea of what, uh, what Waverly is all about. Excellent. And it looks like we have Humphrey online. Hello, Humphrey. Oh, that was quick. Well, at oh. one po given point, we have a <laughs> gone. here. So, yay. Um, Susan, can you think of any other questions before we sign off for the day? Well, is there any questions that we should have asked you that we didn't? <laughs> oh, that's the best question of all. 
Uh, you know, not that I can think of. Um, I just I, I want to say thanks for reaching out and uh, wanting to know more about the community. Um, certainly want to welcome um, Leadership Iowa to, to Waverly, and, and we understand that you're going to be here uh, in December and, and be joining us for Christmas greetings on Maine. Uh, please, I would just say to um, to look around, ask questions, get to know people here in Waverly, shop local, and, uh, and enjoy yourselves. Have a good time while you're here. Thank you very much. And I have to say, I'm really looking forward to getting to Waverly. How about you? Definitely. Definitely. Good. Thank you. Well, we look forward to welcoming you, that's for sure.